Okay guys, so in this video, I want to explain part of cash flow statement, which most of you, you are familiar with. Okay, so in this question, I want to focus mainly on income tax paid and dividends paid. This is the first part of cash flow that we prepare, which you are going to be required, of course, to calculate income tax and dividends paid. Okay, guys, I want to make sure that by the end of this video, you will be able to calculate income tax paid and dividends paid with understanding. The reason is because I have noticed that most of the students, they are claiming these two notes. And when something change or when one amount change, they end up getting lost. So in this video, guys, I just want to make it super super easy for you so that you won't repeat the same mistake okay let's read the information so this is question paper from 2020 paper one okay then uh, it was question two financial indicators and cash flow statement so it was combined with the financial indicators okay let's go to the required straight usanda limited as the financial year ended 28 February 2021. Okay, then they said 2.2.1 calculate the following figures for the 2021 cash flow statement. Number one, income tax paid. Number two is dividends paid. So it's 80 marks to calculate these two amount. However, you have to know that after doing all this calculation, you are going to transfer all this amount on your cash flow statement under operating activities so simply means that guys it's more than 10 marks to calculate these two items because after that when you transfer those amount you are going to in max from that okay so let's go to information of usanda okay number one we have a extra statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 28 february 2021 this is an income statement okay we have a sales until net profit then we have been given extract number b which is statement of financial position that's where we are going to get most of our amount okay let's start number one we have um, a fixed assets current assets inventory guys make sure that you read all the balance sheet why because sometimes you will find that our source income tax that we are looking for they are not under a liability part but they are under assets okay let's check under a current assets do we have it no we have inventory trade and other receivable and cash and cash equivalent so we don't have a source income tax in other words we don't have what we call a refund okay however in this case we have a liability to SARS as you can see our SARS income tax is under current liability okay what is the meaning of this it simply means that we are owing SARS okay at the end we were owing SARS and at the beginning we were owing SARS but the sign that we are going to use guys to calculate our income tax will not be the same okay what will, will be the reason that's why we have this video today okay number one guys what we are going to do we are going to calculate SARS income tax okay the first one we are going to take the opening balance then we take our tax from income statement then the last one we take the closing balance but the sign will not be the same guys please make sure that you understand this very very carefully okay now let's take the balance at the beginning first the balance at the beginning first is 69300 okay let's go to our, our answer sheet balance number one is 69 uh, is 
300. Now the question is whether we have to use a plus or a minus. Okay, now let's think about it. Our 69,300, this is the amount that we were owing SARS last year. Understand this very, very careful, guys. We were owing SARS 69,300 last year. Simply means that now this year we have paid this amount. If we paid this amount, it represents that we have outflow in our bank because we pay. That's why we are going to have a negative amount. Okay. The amount of last year, guys, of course, we have to pay it this year. It's a must to pay SARS. SARS are looking for their tax. Okay. I think this one, you understand it very, very carefully. It's opening balance. Okay. But if it was under assets, guys, and uh, SARS owe us last year, which means that, of course, this year they are going to refund us. It was going to be in flow. Okay. Then now let's proceed to the next one. The next one is very simple because it doesn't change. The one that we got from income statement, guys, it will always outflow. From the strategy that I'm using, it will be always outflow. Okay, do we have it in our case? No, we don't have it. We have net profit before tax and the net profit after tax. Simple means that we have to calculate and get the different. Okay, we're going to say 1.7 million seven seven hundred and seventy seven thousand then we subtract one million two hundred and forty three thousand okay that will be five thirty four thousand our five thirty four thousand guys from income statement please make sure that is always negative always okay five thirty four Thousand. Don't confuse by this one, guys. It is always negative. It doesn't change. Opening and closing is the one that they change. Okay. Now let's check our closing balance. Such income tax. Even closing balance, guys, is under liability. Okay. Now, at the end of the year this year, we were owing SARS 19,800. We were owing them. We haven't yet paid them we're gonna pay them next year which means that this amount is still in our hands what does that mean it's still in flow because it's still inside of our business we have been yet paid we're gonna pay next year simple as that guys our 19,800 it will be a plus a plus a plus 19,800. Very, very, very simple. Okay. If you calculate all this, let's calculate and see how much are we going to get before we go to dividends. Okay. We have minus 69,300. Minus 534,000. Then we have plus 19,800. All in all, we're going to have outflow of 583,000. Of course, your total, guys, uh, in most cases, you will find that it's an outflow. Your final balance usually is outflow. Okay? It's... Um, Outflow of five is very very important, guys, to show the sign when you prepare in a cash flow statement. Please make sure that you show all this sign. Okay, I think now it's very very clear. So you do this, you're gonna get four max plus when you transfer, it's another max. Now let's go to our dividends paid. Very simple, guys. As long as you follow what. I'm going to do okay i hope you understand income tax guys please make sure that you like this video to show me that you understand what i've said and also please comment and tell me if you have learned something okay let's proceed 
Now we are going to calculate the second one, which is dividends paid. Okay, very, very simple and straightforward, guys. Okay, so when it comes to dividends paid, guys, we take the opening plus the one that has been paid during the year and the other one for the closing. Then we are done. Okay, if you check, we have shareholders for dividends. Uh, opening, which is 247500 and the closing of 340000 Then we're going to check the one that has been paid during the year. Okay, remember shareholders for dividends, guys. Simply means that we declare share. If it's the end of the year, of this year, which means that we just declare we have been yet paid, but we're going to pay when? Next year. Okay. I hope you get the point and you already have the answers because it's similar principle with the one that we were doing. Okay. Which means that our opening for last year, guys, is an outflow because last year was declared and this way is going to be paid. Okay. Which means that it's an outflow of 247,500. Okay. Okay, two hundred and forty-seven thousand and five hundred. Okay, this will be outflow. Okay, uh, apology about the. Let me just make it a larger. Perfect. Okay, it's an outflow, guys, because last year. We just declare and this year we are going to do it to pay okay then now let's check if we have the one that we paid during the year yes if you check on number d transaction number three they said a total dividends for the amount of eight hundred and thirty five thousand has been paid guys during the year okay which means that 835 is outflow has been paid in the middle of the year, eight thirty-five thousand. Okay, now we left with the one at the end that we declare. Declare doesn't mean that we paid, guys. Okay, if you check bullet number two, guys. Uh, bullet number one, they said interim dividends was paid on thirty-one August twenty twenty. This is the amount of eight thirty-five. We already adjust that. Then they said a final dividend of 20 cent per share was declared on 20 February. There was no need for us to calculate, guys, because they already give us shareholders for dividends. Because if they just give us 20 cent and the number of share, that's where we multiply. And we get shareholders for dividends, which is 340. Simply means that our 340, guys, is going to be in flow. The reason is because guys it's not yet paid it's not yet paid it's gonna be paid last year they just declare this year at the year, end of the year they're gonna pay next year which means that when we prepare for next year that opening balance will be out of flow because of course we can't just declare a share this year and it, even next year we don't pay we have to pay is our owners of the company shareholders is our owners and we have to pay them it's a must guys it's a must okay now let's calculate it's gonna be 340 then minus 247 500 minus 835,000. okay then we're gonna have an outflow even in this case okay our final answer will be 742 500 that's how our answer look like guys very 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 simple please make sure that you adopt this approach that i was explaining because i find it very very simple and straight forward 
Okay, thank you so much guys for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe in this channel. Let's make it grow and grow and grow. And also like this video, please share with friends that want to learn accounting so that they can also learn from my channel. Thank you so much guys. See you on the next upload. Goodbye.